gastric sleeve surgery is just the, the best thing I've ever done. I think I've always battled with my weight ever since mm. I was a teenager. I mean, I, as have I. As yeah, have I. I, mean, I could spend half the year in reasonably good shape, and the other half the year I could be seriously overweight. And that's been going on since I was a kid. I've and it was con- very easy for you to put on weight. Yeah, and I've constantly, constantly yo-yo dieted, always gone up and down. And I just think that during the lockdown, uh, although a lot of people did get into like fitness from homes and started walking and stuff, I started off doing that. But then all of a sudden. I just lost all motivation. I got really depressed. I struggled. Obviously, I've had my addiction problems in the past, and I really feel like I kind of substituted like alcohol and stuff for food. Yeah. Um, and I went all the way from being 27, you know, I went all the way from around 15, 16 stone to 27 wow. stone. And it comes to a point where I couldn't even tie my own shoelaces. God. I couldn't tie my own shoelaces. I'd, I'd make plans to leave the house and um, I want to do positive things today. I want to get, you know, I want to achieve this. I want to set these goals. But where I was so depressed and I was binge eating, I'd make all these plans, but then I'd end up just being so tired, so um, unmotivated, so lethargic that I would end up just not leaving my house. And that was one of the terrible things about lockdown, Arj, and one of the reasons I campaigned so hard against it. Because for people who were battling addiction issues or had psychological issues, what it did is it inflamed them because you couldn't do all of those usual things that you would do to cope with the absolutely. issue. You were literally locked in your absolutely. house. Absolutely. And actually, you know, I, I've, um, I've been to rehab and stuff. And when, they, when you leave, they say, right, one of the most important things to do, please do not isolate. And literally, I came no home choice. and on TV, you're being told to isolate. So yeah, for an by addict, law, by law. So for an uh, for an addict in lockdown, it's extremely, extremely hard. I mean, how can you even have? You, you couldn't even have people checking up on you or seeing how you were or, or being there for you because you wasn't allowed yeah. to go to each other's houses. You know, addicts that were really suffering, they're being in a house alone and they won't have people knocking on the door, coming to visit them, coming to see if they're all right. I think it's a complete disgrace, actually. It's really difficult. But for you, it actually led to something very positive, Art, because you made this life-changing decision and it's a big decision. Massive decision. And and it's not easy. You know, a lot of people... I have had a few people say, oh, you know, I I get congratulated because it's Mm. such a drastic... Because you look uh, incredible. (laughs) Well, I feel good. You know, I feel feel like... I mean, well, look at that transition. Physically and mentally, it's the best I've ever felt. Um, And a lot of... You know, but you do have people that say, oh, well, you know, he had uh, weight loss surgery, it's cheating and blah, blah, blah. But it comes a huge, huge sacrifice. Well, it does because essentially... so, So a gastric sleeve sounds all well and good. But essentially, haven't you had part of your stomach removed I've had 70% forever? I've percent of my stomach removed forever. And, this and is, you can never get it back. This is permanent. This is permanent. There's a few weight loss surgeries that aren't permanent, um, but I just felt that I'd battled with my weight for so long that I wanted to do something about it once and for all. And um, it's the best thing I've, I've ever done. It's the best decision I've ever made. And I feel like my old self again. I've got my energy back. I've got my confidence back. I can... Wear the clothes that I want to wear. They might not be everyone's cup of tea. Well, I think you're looking amazing tonight. <laughs> I've got a little bit 70s tonight. <laughs> but um, I can finally be who I want to be. Do you know what I mean? I'm not just yeah. buying clothes now because they're in 5XL or something like that and I can get them on my body. Now I'm actually becoming the person who I want to be.